Hello and welcome to Malagor the Dark Omens leveling guide. Uh, right now we are going to start with looking at his trait, which is Crow Father, Father which is plus 50% using Beast Paths, minus 8 leadership, minus 100% enemy casualty, uh, casualty replenishment rate, and causes fear for Harpy units. Now, Harpy units are a terrible unit, so that isn't going to be an inclination towards what he's going to be good for. So, we disregard the Harpies, but the enemy leadership is what we're going to be looking at. Now, Malagor, the Dark Omen, is one of the unique people who do not go for Lightning Strike right off the bat. But instead, you place a point into Flock of Doom. Two points into Pendulum, one point into Savage Dominion, and then you get a decision to make where you can just decide to place one anywhere. It doesn't matter, you just need one more extra point. So let's do Infibulian Foe. Two points in Infibulian Foe. Oh, it's five. Might be. Uh, and then you grab a Greater Arcane Conduit. Now you used up. Seven points. You go throw. Or you place another point into Flock of Doom, which I highly suggest doing. We will instantly go. By the time this point, you get the Greater Arcane Conduit, you have this truth. And this is how I suggest you do it place magical reserves. Look at these see that they're mostly garbage except for wild heart and life leech grab these two so that you get that increased power reserves and recharge rate those are important and then you grab doom of all mankind place that other point to flock of doom at this point because you'll need it now you may have noticed that i have not grabbed gradual and hooves this is one of the slight chain um, weird situations that you don't grab it, or you could grab it. Because you're going to be moving around mostly with Beast Paths, especially if you do Malagor's Start. If you do Malagor's Start, he's barely going to be able to move around this area. But with Beast Paths, he's able to hit everywhere. And that's what you want to do, because the Swamp Terrain is little to no movement. Now, what you're going to do is place one point into something wicked comes this way. Because by the time you get to here, you're going to have 12 points. Especially if you grab Gantuan Hooves. Which, we're going to place a point there already because we are going to grab that. Next point is going to go into Unholy Power. That is an absolute, there's nothing else in this tree that really helps you. Except for Nightbearish Cabal and Potence of doom you can grab potence of doom and basically negate that plus 10 leadership from either them being ranked nine or from being on legendary difficulty either way it will help and you grab mental corals which will be beneficial and then at this point i would suggest going towards lightning strike just like how Carrick One Eyes was, you can just pretty much place the points the same way and then grab Lightning Strike. And there you go, you pretty much done Malagor's tree. Now, this is the point where you should grab Dread and Charms and not bother with this. As this won't help you, grab the Missile Resistance, grab this. Don't bother with this. This is actually the one point I will say do not bother with this. Because Malagor at this point, at this junction, is physically impossible to beat. As if you are using them right. That is. He will be able to do Flock of Doom over and over and over again. Killing off enemies. And with Block of Doom being only cost 2, because you grab that, you put that down, and I think it's... No, that's the only 2 that actually affects it. 
So now is the point where it's a little bit free, but not. I would suggest, though, grabbing this, grabbing the Ungor Raiders, grabbing this, as that could potentially help. Grab that. Grab Mage Hunter. Place another point into this leadership so you get minus five for everyone and eight when he when Malagor is around the enemies. That includes when he's flying. Give the minus ten. So that reduces them even more. And then you have two points that are free to use. Now I'm not going to bother with Children of Chaos because that was an added bonus on Carrot One Eye. But for Malagor, it does not matter. You could probably grab Hardened Pelts, but it's not going to help anything. Because Jabber Slice are going to go to another Lord. Gorgons are going to go to another Lord. Stygors could be his thing, but not really. Manticore are not good units. Chaos Spawn are not good units. Razor Herds can go to someone else. Harpies can go to someone else. Chaos Warhounds can go to someone else. Like, most of the units on this list are not good, or someone else can have. So, I would suggest, with your last two points, maybe placing Apocalyptic Vision, and maybe throw it into Uncanny Senses, if you really feel like it. Or, actually, place it into Crow Father, as he will get 10% speed and 20% missiles. Literally, his... Special tree, everything is good for it. And this is what it looks like at the end of the day. It looks good. You get the Ungor Raiders have that reload reduction time and that missile strength damage. That's the stuff that matters. But before you do use those guys, you use Malagor to just constantly kill stuff with Block of Doom. And if you give him the Sword of Cain, he can just go into melee and block a doom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something and how to level up your lords. I hope this video will help you in the future of you going to the higher difficulties. This has been me, Kelsey Drake, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.